All right, good morning guys. Mike here, Affluent Journeys. As you can see, I'm running down the street here in Fort Lauderdale today. And uh, today I'm gonna do my first ever 10 mile run attempt, all in one shot. So I'm gonna run down through Fort Lauderdale, down Sunrise Boulevard to the beach, and then all the way down south to uh, the Harbor Inlet where I thought I was gonna live, but it didn't work out. And then back all the way up over the uh, 17th Street Bridge and back to my condo. So I mapped it out, it's 10 miles. All right, so have fun watching. Uh, make sure to like the video, put your comments down below, and uh, subscribe here on YouTube. Also, follow Fluent Journeys on Facebook and Instagram. Sorry for all the shaking. This is Holiday Park. Look at the fog on the uh, fields here. That's cool. All right, so we're just about uh, one mile in. 10%. And uh, let's see there. All right, so why am I running 10 miles? Is this a uh, normal thing for me? No, not at all. Um, I maintain a commitment to physical fitness throughout my adult life. But typically running was not a major portion. I'd run maybe three days a week, two or three miles, so maybe eight miles a week. Uh, but since the uh, pandemic hit, I decided to up it to like 12 miles a week. And that's what I've been doing for a while. And I started watching all these uh, ultra runners on YouTube. And they run, you know, 50 miles, 100 miles, 200 miles, 240 miles. Well, that's ridiculous. So, I doubt that's in the cards for me, but um, I just want to see what I can do. So, last week I ran, uh, no, a couple weeks ago I did a 10K, not too many problems. Last week I did seven and a half miles, which is a little more, and this week I'm going to try and do 10 miles. And then if that goes well, I'll tell you at the end, we'll see. I made it over the bridge at Sunrise Boulevard. Nice yacht. All right, we have now made our way to the beach. Let it slip right there so I won't try and get up. And we'll keep hauling ass here. 3.03 uh, .03 miles and 28 minutes in. A little less than a third of the way, 30%. All right, guys, we're uh, four miles in, just under the uh, bridge here. Almost got hit by a biker. And just a nice view of the beach. Everything going on. Left knee is a little sore, but that's what I expect. I actually have some kind of a tear or something in the middle of my knee. Did it about five years ago. I never had it looked at. But I can still go, so I don't care too much. Nice husky there. All right, so we just made it to Las Olas Boulevard, and we're still gonna go all the way down to the end. About uh, 4.3 miles in now. All right, we made our way down to beach park and the marina there. The fancy uh, yachts, I think it's called Never Enough. Right, we made our way down to the volleyball courts. We used to play volleyball here. And they have the big tournaments here whenever they do that. That's the B-Ocean, used to be called the Yankee Clipper. It's part of here also. And right now we're at uh, four point, oh, exactly five miles in. 48 minutes. So I'm running nice and slow. Was that a nine minute mile? A little less even. All right guys, we're five and three quarter miles in. Just made my way around A1A. And now we're gonna go over the bridge. So I have an interesting decision. Do I want to go on the left side of the bridge, look south into Port Everglades, see if there's any cruise ships there. 
Or do I want to look north at the yachts? So it's Wednesday. I don't know if there's any cruise ships will be in there. We're seeing maybe the edge or the apex will be there. So let's go across the street and look at some yachts. And there's bridge going down. Alright, all the cars here will be off to the races. And that is Azteca. They're still running. There's Port Everglades, it looks uh, fairly empty. I don't see any cruise ships there at all. Look at this, we got a whole bunch of huge yachts. Got the Felix and the Horizons 3. Cute dog. Hey. Right, I took a little break there to take some pictures. Six and a uh, quarter miles in. An hour and five minutes, so I have three and three quarter miles to go. So I still I feel pretty good so far. Just take it easy. All right, I made the turn onto uh, Cordova Road. By the way, I'm wearing uh, let me see it even Addy Zero Pros, which have like a carbon plate and all this crap in them. But they're lightweight and they. Make a difference on a longer run. Seven and uh, 0.23 miles in. Hour and 14 minutes right now. All right, so they're doing some construction here on the seawall, and you can see where we're standing. And the water is literally right at street level. You know this is going to flood. It's a big flood area here in Fort Lauderdale. And so we are 7.58 miles, 118 in. So three quarters done essentially. All right, so I'm eight miles in now, running through uh, nice neighborhoods of Victoria Park. Still have their Trump signs up even though he lost. And I feel like I got five pound weights sitting on top of my knees and hip flexors are starting to bite now also. But we'll keep going. I can make it two more miles. All right, we made our way back to Las Olas area. Look, there goes a nice uh, Pershing 70 yacht. Got a nice Riva yacht there, look at that. There we are. Oop. There we go, 90 minutes in. Right, we're nine miles in, right here at the, uh, I think it's the Brower Boulevard Bridge, here in Los Olas. Lots of fancy apartment buildings they're building here. And the five pound weights on my knees have now become 10 pound weights. I got five pound weights on my top of the balls of my feet. But I've got one mile to go, so I'll make it. All right guys, so we pretty much did it, 10 miles. Don't forget to like the video, put your comments down below. Here it is. One of these days, I'll get there. There it is, 10 miles. All right, 10.23 average, but that'll change a little bit once I get it on the app. Nice and slow. There's the building. All right, guys, I made it my first ever 10 mile run. My legs hurt, but that's okay, it's not too bad. And uh, during the video, I mentioned I would uh, think about something if I pass this test, and that is to run a uh, half marathon. So there's one in February, 
I'm gonna sign up for that and run the half marathon in February and see how that goes. Of course, I got these goddamn construction workers behind me. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to follow Fluent Journeys on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And please stay tuned for the next one.